Hello and welcome to WaveScan, the international DX program from Adventist World Radio. Researched and written by Dr. Adrian Peterson in Indianapolis and produced in the studios of WRMI in Miami, Florida. I'm Jeff White. Today on WaveScan, focus on Africa, Tunisia, Australian states on shortwave, part 7, Tasmania, and our Philippine DX report. The island of Tasmania is the smallest state in the Commonwealth of Australia, and it's also the only state that is separated from the mainland continent. A total of 334 additional nearby islands, mostly uninhabited, make up the territory that is encompassed as the state of Tasmania. This Australian island is almost triangular in shape. It's more than 200 miles long from north to south and less than 200 miles wide from west to east. More than a third of the entire island is set aside as nature and tourist reserves, and it's stated to this day that there are some wild areas in the southwest that are not yet thoroughly explored. Tasmania is home to several unique flora and fauna, and the most famous animals would be the Tasmanian devil, a small, fierce, black, wild animal, and the Tasmanian tiger, which is thought to be extinct. Both the Tasmanian devil and the Tasmanian tiger are classified as marsupials, with an underbelly pouch for carrying the young. Unique flora in Tasmania would include the Huon pine, which is considered to be one of the best boat-building timbers known to man. The small Tasmanian warata is unique, as is also the Tasmanian blue gum, and the white flower of this tree is the state floral symbol. The total population in Tasmania is around one half million, and Hobart is the state capital. The second city is Launceston, located in the central north of the island, close to the northern coastline. The Dutch explorer Abel Tasman was the first European to sight the island, and he landed at Blackman's Bay, near present-day Hobart, in 1642. The island was originally named Van Diemen.
Народное радио Китая. I thought maybe my shortwave receiver had spur problems with so many frequencies occupied by China throughout the evening. But Vatsislav Gergiev of Spaceline confirmed to me that this is normal in North Africa and Europe, at a time when many Western shortwave stations are reducing or eliminating their shortwave services, China Radio International is increasing them and seems to be the easiest station to hear on the bands. No wonder then that the Chinese delegation was the largest at the HFCC conference in Tunis. For them, shortwave is alive and well. Thanks for listening to WaveScan, the international DX program from Adventist World Radio, researched and written by Dr. Adrian Peterson in Indianapolis. Next week, 100 Years of Wireless and Radio in Bulgaria, Part 5, The Russian Era, European Perspective, and our Bangladesh DX Report. If you'd like a QSL card for reports on this program, you can send them to WaveScan, Box 29235, Indianapolis, Indiana, 46229, USA. You can also contact us by email at wavescan at awr.org. That's wavescan at awr.org. I'm Jeff White at WRMI in Miami. Till next week, good listening, everyone.